What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Exotic Agent. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, my name's Zach. I'm a real estate agent and I absolutely love cars. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We are here in my garage as you guys have seen in all of my other videos and there's one thing that has changed. No, it's not the player slingshot. No, it's not my shuffleboard that I talked about in my last video. It's the floor. Check this out. I got my floor epoxied by these amazing guys here in Arizona. They are the best. I went with blue flakes. Blue is my favorite color with a little bit of black. I think it turned out great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So as you guys might have seen by the thumbnail today, I want to go over my Turo rental with the player slingshot. Now when I bought this slingshot, my intentions were not to rent this out. However, this thing is not a daily driver as a lot of you guys know. and when it's sitting in the garage, why not make some money? So I took some great photos. I put it on Turo about four or five months ago, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it did. So one of the first things that happened to the player slingshot is we have bottoming out. I mean, look at this. We have so much road rash right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but every single time somebody rents it out, I always say, be careful, you're gonna bottom out. But this looks like somebody hit a uh, uh, block there, cinder block, uh, parking block and there's a bunch of other road rash right there now a lot of times as you guys know when you're renting a vehicle nobody cares about your vehicle as much as you do so after renting this thing it is now a business so with that being said I priced out these road rash parts and it's 500 bucks now I've made more than that obviously so I can pay for it and I'll tell you guys about my numbers here in a bit but I have one more thing to show you all right so the other day when it came back I was looking over the slingshot as I always do, see what's going on with it, and I came across this. I don't know if you look at that. This is a huge gash right here in the bo bottom of the side panel. It has a bunch of road rash, and they must have hit something right here. It had to have been something pretty heavy like a rock, but there's a bunch of road rash right there. Now I haven't really priced out this part yet, but I can guarantee you with plastics, it's not going to be cheap. So I would say we have, I don't know, two or 300 in the used market. And then that, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know. However, it's still usable. So like I said before, it's usable. It can still make money. It's not anything serious to where I actually have to get it repaired, but it is damaged and it sucks. But what can you do? I mean, it is now a rental vehicle. So now that I've gone over all of the negative things about Turo, let me talk to you guys about some of the positive things about Turo. One positive thing about Turo is that you're making money. Basically, someone's coming over, they're taking your car, they're going through all the checkpoints. Turo's app is absolutely phenomenal. You take photos, the client takes photos, you compare, and then they take your car. And as soon as they take your car, you start making money and you can name your own price. It's like Airbnb for your car if you guys aren't familiar with Turo. And then when they come back, you take photos, you chat, it's relationships, and then it goes directly to your bank account. So the great thing is, is that a vehicle like this, when it's sitting in my garage, other people can come and experience it and they have a great time. When they come back, there's so many smiles on their face and it makes me feel good too, especially when they take care of your vehicle. Now, right now, I'm renting this slingshot out for $150 a day, which I think is cheap because in other areas, it's about $150 to $250 per four hours, like Hawaii and Sedona, Arizona and all these other places. So I think I'm kind of cheap. And maybe that's why I'm getting hit is because I'm too cheap. So I'm definitely going to be raising my prices here soon. I might buy another slingshot. The market is up right now. I know I've been chatting with that about that on my channel, but I'm for sure going to buy another one. I don't know when, how, where, why, but that's the plan. I'll tell you guys exactly what I've made on Turo. I have made $3,570. I know that may seem like a lot or may not, but this was a $15,000 investment. And I've already paid off one fourth of it from just renting it. 26 times, I'm not sure how many days, I'll have to go through my stats, but you guys can do the math on your end. And so 26 people have rented this out and it's already one fourth paid off. So you guys let me know what you think. Is it worth it, is it not? I showed you the negative side of it. Now I'm showing you the positive side. So that's pure cash flow. You do have to pay taxes on that, but 
you know, you get to meet people. I'm in real estate. I get to make relationships. I get to see people smile on their face when they bring back the slingshot because a lot of people, they've never driven one before and they're, they're like, wow, this thing is so cool. So, uh, yeah, I think it makes sense, especially on a vehicle that, you know, I don't want to say I don't care about it, but it's not something that it's like a Ferrari or a Lambo where it's like, this is my baby. But yeah, I definitely want people to treat it right. But at the end of the day, um, you know, now it is a rental vehicle. So it's part of my fleet and I'm going to buy a couple more and then double up, triple up, quadruple up. And um, yeah, hopefully, you know, not hopefully, it will become a business that already is a business. So um, let me tell you one more thing. Okay, so now comes the question is, is this really a business? Is it a lucrative business? And my personal opinion is no, it's not. I don't tell people, hey, go into Turo so you can become a millionaire and you can make a bunch of money and uh, retire early. What I say is, is that other people are paying off your vehicle. That's it. Other people are paying either your bills or they're paying off your vehicle. And so this will be a free vehicle theoretically I would say by January, it's gonna all be paid off. And I didn't pay for it, you know, other people did. Yeah, it comes with all of the road rash and all that other stuff, but it's just part of dealing with it, as I keep saying. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think about Turo? I mean, I feel like I'm an Airbnb expert because I'm in real estate. I feel like I'm a Turo expert now because I'm renting things out. And um, Airbnb, you can make some money, but your, your place is gonna get damaged. Turo, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. Um, so yeah, but for all you guys who have been following me for a while, you know that I bought a Jeep Gladiator. The Jeep's in Illinois, the Slingshot's here. I'm actually gonna be traveling to Europe a lot this summer. I'm super stoked, but I definitely wanna keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on. I hope this was informative. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. See ya.